Hey guys, how is it going? It is Saturday and we are going to be doing a question and answer today. I asked for these on Thursday and I'm wearing the same shirt that I was wearing yesterday because I'm making these videos on the same day. We've already been through this a million times. My screen's really bright, so like, ooh, I kind of look like a ghost right now. Look at this. So anyway, that's kind of scary. So it might shine me a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead, um, you're going to see the two different games in this match. Oh, before we get started, if you're interested in getting some FIFA 13 Ultimate Team coins while they're still left, check out FUTCoinEmporium.com. They're a very fast service. I'm going to have links in the description down below. Use Fang when you go to check out, you'll get a 10% discount. But um, it's going to be two different games here because I was having a hard time getting footage. People kept quitting on me and stuff on today, on Thursday. So you're going to see two different random games, and I'm going to try to answer as many questions as possible. We're going to start out with... Uh, i got to get to where they started. We have at Sean Flinney says, Would you ever do a series where you play with your fiancé? I'm actually thinking about doing that for FIFA 14. Uh, we've kind of got some ideas in mind that where I might add him in there to have a little bit of like a... I don't know why, but I'm like looking all kinds of shiny right now. Um, to have a little bit of a series together with that. I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing him. I thought a, a lot of people might be like, oh my god, she's got her fiancé in the video, and they might be, like, against it. So let me know what you guys think. I'd like to know about that. Um, we have at Graham LFC08. He says, what do you enjoy most about YouTube? Um, the most part that I've enjoyed so far about YouTube is really the friends that I've made has been a big thing about it, just because... Um, it's done a lot for me when it comes to that. I have a lot of friends, you know, from my real life friends and everything. By the way, I'm just like doing my lips in front of you guys. I've got a lot of real life. I, I say that. I have a lot of people that I've met in person that have been my friends growing up and all that. But I've met some really awesome people and I've met people around the world through YouTube. And it's been amazing for me. And I've had so many opportunities to do things that I never imagined that I would do when it comes to traveling and different types of stuff. It's just insane. Some of these people, like before I got into video games, and I'm going to answer these legit because someone said I wasn't answering legit so this is like my full-on description of legitness right now before I got into video games if I look back and I think of myself from high school where I was just like kind of like a snobby uh, spoiled kid that went to college and got everything paid for and all this stuff and my friends were a bunch of you know like random or actually just all all my friends were white people um, all of them have a lot of money pretty much and you know there's just a lot of that going on so uh, if I think of like what happened before video games, had I not gotten into it, for one, my mind would not have been open to a lot of different people in the world, and I don't think I would have, like, if I look at some of the people I'm friends with on video games, I would have never been friends with them before I got into video games. And YouTube has been a big deal with that, so um, it's actually like helped me open my mind, it's helped me, well, <laughs> self-esteem wise, helped me learn how to have really thick skin, which is something that you definitely have to have especially if you're going to be some type of entertainer, which is kind of what I consider myself. So, uh, oh my god, I've had this, let me just go ahead and crack this. I've had this beer here. Anyway, so, that's what I really enjoy. And then, of course, being able to interact with you guys, because it's crazy to me, it's beyond me, that, like, 40,000, almost 40,000 people um, actually, like, liked me enough to subscribe to my channel and want to see me and you know maybe it's like four or five thousand of you on a daily basis actually want to see me so it's pretty flattering actually it's it's pretty awesome i love entertaining people i used to do so many stupid things in high school just to do it and now i get to do it in front of everybody on youtube videos at samuel barrett what hobbies do you do in your spare time outside youtube well samuel um I used to have a lot more hobbies. It's kind of died down because YouTube takes up a lot of my time. I have a job and I have to work it 8 to 5 or like not really, like 8 to 4. And then after that I like come home and I have to make a lot of videos which take up a lot of time. But I usually, I work out a lot. That's like my thing. I don't know if you've seen these guns. Just go ahead, take a print, print screen. We'll just do double gun. Let's do double gun. Boom. I work out, um, I do this thing called Camp Gladiator, I'm really into it, I uh, just started making friends with a lot of people in the actual group, and it's kind of like a boot camp where you go outside and there's a whole bunch of people and they're teaching you to do, it's like football drills and crazy stuff, so it's a lot of fun, besides that I really am into traveling, I like to see new places, I'm obsessed with that, I just, I have like a collection of koozies from all these places I've been to, and I'm about to go to London, which is going to be amazing gonna be my first time in any country besides Mexico and the United States so I'm excited about that but besides that 
I mean, YouTube is a diehard hobby that I happen to get paid for a little bit, so, yeah. Um, we have at Amp Warlord, he says, how old were you when you had your first beer? I actually was, I was pretty young. Beer-wise, I didn't have my first beer until I was a freshman in high school because I thought beer was disgusting. And I was not going to get anywhere near that. But the drinking-wise, to add on to that, um, my aunt Cindy actually gave me a shot of tequila when I was nine years old. She, I just randomly, she was taking shots or whatever, and I lived with her at the time. I had a lot of, I moved around with a lot of people when I was younger. So at this time, I was living with my aunt. And she had a shot of tequila, and I was like, I want to try that. And so she ended up handing it to me, and I took the shot. I remember doing it. I did the whole, like, where I licked the salt, took the shot, then bit into the lime. And I took it like a boss. I mean, I didn't even flinch. And she was like, wow, like, you're just like your mom. My mom likes to drink a lot. So it was, it was, uh, it was pretty interesting. But I was, like, nine years old. And it made me drunk, by the way. That one shot made me drunk because I was too small. I was tiny. Um, we have two people asking me why won't you follow me. I've kind of like, I unfollowed a lot of people only to clear up my timeline. There's a lot of things I never got to see half the people in the hub or anybody that like I, I hang out with. I never saw what they put in my timeline because I was going through thousands of people trying to do, uh, trying to check out the timeline. And honestly, like I don't just follow people to follow them. And th that might sound like condescending or anything like that, but there's, you've got to be kind of interesting. Like, I want to see people tweet. If, you, if I go and I have someone on my list right now, if someone's on my list and they haven't tweeted in, like, ten days, I unfollow them because I want a reason to follow. Like, I'm going to go through this. And I have a lot of people that follow me, but, I mean, I put out content on the daily, okay? I put a tweet out, like, every two seconds. So they might not be the best, but uh, don't be upset if I don't follow you. It's – don't take it, like – badly. It's better to really be on my Facebook because that's where I actually respond to people a lot more, but nobody wants to be on my Facebook. I think I only have 400 people on there, so. We have at Fatos Gaming HD. By the way, that was at Dean B. Lewis. I read that from. At Fatos Gaming HD says, would you shag a cactus for a thousand dollars? Hell no. Hell no. For one, they have like little prickly things on them. Of course, everybody knows that. Imagine that getting in your hoo-ha. That would hurt for weeks. Like, I could get $1,000 just by doing something else. I'm sure I could, like, donate blood for, like, six months and get that $1,000. I don't want to have stuff poking into my hoo-ha that's going to be, like, permanent damage, possibly. No thank you. At, I don't know how to read this. At Firos Official. It says, Quim you make a videos for expectatives for FIFA 14. I think that's in a different language. And maybe it's saying, are we going to make videos for FIFA 14? <laughs> I don't know, but yes, I am. And hopefully I'm going to be doing daily content. I'm about to drop down to five videos a week, I think, until it comes out. At least when it comes to the demo. Maybe not on the web app. I'll probably do a lot of web app videos. We'll see how that goes. Um, at Antrax, and Mim says, what is your favorite NFL team? The Dallas Cowboys, duh. I'm just kidding. It's not a duh question. I love the Dallas Cowboys. They are my team. Um, cause I'm from Dallas, obviously. That was actually my first word. Before I said mom and dad, my grandpa Norby decided to teach me how to say cowboys. So that was my first word. Um, at Howard St. John says, what is it like being the only female YouTuber surrounded by males? To be perfectly honest, it's one of the hardest things that I think I've ever done. And I started out playing, um, Call of Duty and there was like... There's a lot of females in Call of Duty. It didn't seem that way at the beginning, but when it comes to YouTube scene and when you got competitive, there was tons of girls, and we get massive hate as it is. On Call of Duty, it was just loads of hate, and it was disgusting, and I learned to get used to it. But on FIFA, I admit, I'm the solo target. There's like two, maybe others, that tried to do videos but haven't really completely gotten into it to where they're in my level, to where you're up on like a stage in a pedestal in front of everybody in the FIFA community, and you are the girl, and you are that one girl, and nobody takes you seriously, because you are a girl. For one, I'm a girl and I'm American, so nobody takes me seriously. Um, and people just like say the worst things possible to you. And of course, I'm a girl. I've kind of got feelings. I don't show it, and a lot of times I don't try to like put it out there because a lot of times I can just like I can take it. I don't mind. But sometimes there's just a moment, like when I'm having this bad part of my day, <laughs> yesterday to be exact, I was having a ter actually like the last three days. I've had some of the worst 
days I, where I just don't know. I've got something going on where it's just like everything is just like <sighs> caving down on me. And it's the feeling of whatever, like a heaviness. And you get that and then you have like some dickhead guys on YouTube who are just giving you the shit comments. And they're all based on you being a female and you getting in the kitchen and you doing this shit and that and how you suck at FIFA. And for what? For what reason? Like, you're saying, how can you obviously feel okay about yourself when you do this? And I see it on other people's videos, too. I see some of my, like, good YouTube friends. I go through and read their comments, and if that person, had have I ever met that person who sits behind that keyboard in real life, I would probably punch you directly in the face, and you wouldn't even say it in real life. I've had an opportunity to meet somebody like that before who decided they were just going to call me, like, fat for, like, months, thinking that I was actually fat, and then I met him in person, and I was like, I walked up to him, like, hey, yeah. It's me, Fatty, and they were just like, so scared of you. So I know it's usually just a pathetic piece of shit human being hiding behind a keyboard, but it still gets to you sometimes. And this all happens way worse to me because I'm a female, and it's just hard. It's a really hard job for me to have, but I'm not going to stop because, like, I love YouTube and I love FIFA. People will say you, you don't care about the game or you're shit at the game and all this stuff. You have no idea. Like, I dream about this game. I dream about doing YouTube for it. Like... I spend all day thinking about it. People don't realize the things mentally that YouTubers go through. Like, you become so into it that that's what you're thinking about. When I'm out with my friends, and I'm supposed to be at, like, a friend's birthday or something, I'm thinking about YouTube and what's the next FIFA thing I'm going to do, what team should I play with, all this type of stuff. I, like, study that shit all day long. And I might suck at name pronunciation, but I suck at that in general, whether it be YouTube or not. Like, you just put somebody at, when I, at work, when I call random people, I'm like, yo, is Mr... The labio there, and it's like something else. It's it's bad, but that was a long answer to that. Uh, let's see. Can you twerk at Danny Cox ninety four? Absolutely not. But I might attempt it at Eurogamer. I don't know yet. If I can get a group twerk going on with some YouTubers, that would be awesome. Uh, but no, like I try to twerk and I like start bouncing. Like see this bouncing, and then my butt doesn't move with me. I don't know what it is. I don't know like the the movements. That was kind of weird, like, um, at Islam Amari, he says, what was the first time you had sex? I might leave that, the actual story of it, I don't know if I want to tell that story, that's kind of creepy, but I might leave that for like one of my story time videos. I was like 16 when I did, so that was the first time I did that, and uh, yeah, I might leave it for an actual story time. Let me know if you want to hear about that in a story time, I might tell it, it's kind of weird. We'll see. Um, at Lee Six Niner King, when will Stone Cold tweet you? Come on, Steve. I don't know. I've been doing this like six day adventure. I met Steve Austin. I used to be obsessed with him for a good ten years of my life when I was younger. On WWF and WCW were my shits, and I had like bed sheets, curtains, everything. Stone Cold Steve Austin all over my room. I met him whenever I was in 6th or 7th grade. I got to sit down with him and take some pictures, eat a little bit, and it was amazing. And then I met him again a year after that, and then after that I was kind of over it. I got into high school and I was like, I can't be liking this anymore. But um, I've been trying to get that dude to follow me for like 6 days now, and he's not having it. He follows like 440 people, and I'm not one of them. So I'm still on that mission. When he's going to follow me, I have no idea. Uh, at Cameron Alliday, would you ever visit Australia? Of course I would. I almost studied abroad there. I'd love to be in Australia. There's so many sexy people with sexy accents there, so yes. Um, let's see. A lot of these I've answered, the who inspired you to do YouTube and stuff like that. That's been answered on other stuff. I might do it later on. What's your favorite movies? I have a really, like, movie... Well, I've already said it before, like, Not Another Teen Movie, I think, was a huge one for me because <laughs> I don't know why. It just kept me happy um, my senior slash junior year of high school um, when I was dealing with a lot of stuff going on then. And so I watched that movie over and over again. It makes me happy. But, like, my actual, like, favorite dramatic movie of all time probably have to be Man on Fire. That movie is crunk. If you haven't seen that before, I believe it's Denzel Washington and Dakota Fanning, do it. Because that movie is crazy. Kind of sad. If you're ready to shed a tear, go ahead and watch that. Really good movie. Um, let's see here. What made you start YouTube? I've answered that before. Any tips for someone who starts YouTube? I started my first tip, and it has to do with this thing right here, actually. I'm just going to go ahead and give you a little peek. 
in order to get into YouTube, you've got to be able to have something to write your ideas down on. And right here I have this. It says, Beware, Greatness is Inside FIFA. This is one of many that I've had, but this is a newer one because the other one's got full. And it's got all these ideas. And, well, this is actually scores. So I write out, like, little scripts and stuff like that. Like, I'm, I'm all about this. Just you... People don't think YouTube's that hard. I sit here all day. Look at these players. I have this list of players I wrote down for a team I wanted to build. Like, come on. You guys. You gotta get one of those. That's the first start. Um, besides that, just try to kind of go with the wave of what's going on. Maybe, like, if something's really popular, maybe try, like, dabbing in it a little bit. People say you're copying, but pff, they'll get over it. Somebody will be like, oh, that looks like someone's video. And then they'll be like, but it's so funny or so good. It might, might not be funny. You might be a serious YouTuber. I try to go for the funny sometimes. Let's see if we can get a few more in here. Will you ever win the pub? Says Ellis and Z. Uh, not in FIFA 13, but FIFA 14. You best believe I'm going to be coming. Uh, hopefully I'll be invited back to the hub. <laughs> yes, I will. If I don't, I will be angry. I'm just kidding. But uh, maybe something new will come up where there's different stuff added on to it, like relegations and we have divisions or something. Who knows? We haven't really talked about it because everyone's obsessed with League of Legends right now or is so tired of FIFA that they're just like counting the days till the new FIFA comes out. So the hub call has been like us just sitting there like, ah, oh, League of Legends, ah, oh, FIFA, please come. So we'll see. Um... At David Lotzi, getting excited for Eurogamer. You have no idea how excited I am. I haven't, like, really expressed it completely. Um, but I'm going to meet, like, one of my better friends, or better few friends that I've made on gaming. Um, mentors, people who I, b I believe have made me who I am today. People who I've looked up to. Um, I'm going to meet them all there. It's all going to happen. Like, we were all going to be in one area, and I could never believe that I would meet them. From FIFA, I've only met one guy, which is uh, Dirty Mike, another YouTuber, and I met him like at an MLG event, but I've not met, got to meet any of these guys, and it's going to be awesome. Bateson's going to be there. That's like one of my like best gaming friends that have come out. Um, who else is going to be there? Probably like everybody else when it comes to like Tobias and Calfreezy. Those aren't like my closer friends, but there's a people on there. Clutch, one of my best gaming friends, is going to be there. Uh, Nepenthe is one of my better gaming friends. I really wish AA9Skills was going to be there because I like would love to meet him as well. And uh, he's not going to be there because he's terrified of airplanes, apparently. So that'll have to be another time, hopefully an American event, where some of those guys can come over and AA will be there. And then I'll get to meet him. Who knows? Oh, I haven't got to meet Jabes either, who's not going to be there. Um, which, that would have been cool too, but there's got to be some kind of American thing that happens. Let's see. Do you have swag at FIFA Clam? Duh. Have you seen my sunglasses? Hold on. Do I have swag? Really? I'm kidding. I gotta take those off. And... At Weep Healer, are you in school and what do you study? I thought you knew this weeps. I thought you knew me. I'm kidding. Um, I am not in school. Graduated from Texas Tech University with a degree in business. And I loved it. Spent my four years there. It was amazing. I could not ask for a better college experience. But I did not like my major. And so I don't say... I mean, do I look like a serious business person? Look at me. I do have the smarts. But I just don't have the uh, patience, I guess. I ended up getting a computer science. I did some classes for computer science. And then I ended up getting a certification. And that's why I work in IT now. I didn't even need to go to college. I could have freaking taken two computer science classes, went and got one of my IT certifications, and boom, employed. Making more money than I did in my business job. So that's how that worked out. We're cutting down to what I'm going to consider the last of the questions. And uh, that might have been the last one. Let me see. What is this? I have no idea what this is. Why you no know, follow me? Oh, here we go. Last one. Mr. MyKey5, do you speak other languages? Uh, yeah. I speak Klingon. I'm just kidding. I don't. Uh, I know, like, a little bit of German. I know way more Spanish, probably. But I sound terrible when I'm... Let me just go ahead and give you an example. Hola. Como te llamas? <laughs> like, it's just bad. I'm not good at anything but being my accent in what I do. Um, but no, not really. I need to learn more German. 
but who knows if I'll ever do that. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video though, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope I answered those questions to the way that you wanted them. Um, if you did like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Probably get another one of these in here soon, because not that many people are awake to ask me these questions. So I want to give you all a chance to do that. Um, thanks for watching this video though, guys. 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 Thanks for watching this video, um, and until next time, get bang bang nerds.